But tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from a man who says he witnessed the deadly confrontation between a Connecticut man now charged with manslaughter and a worker at a Caribbean resort. And now there are new questions. CBS 2's Errol Barnett has this. I cannot say what happened initially. Right. I only came there for the aftermath. Jeshwain Clark is a bellman at Anguilla's Mayuhana Resort. He says he was the first person to find Scott Hapgood restraining another hotel employee, Kenny Mitchell, on the floor of Hapgood's hotel bathroom April 13th. I saw Kenny on his back and Mr. Hapgood over Kenny. Clark says he saw Hapgood's forearm on Mitchell's neck and was told Mitchell came after Hapgood with a knife asking for money. And, and what are you when, saying at this time? And well, I was keep telling him, okay, yes, I understand what you are saying, but you still need to act, give him um, proper breathing in space. At one point, Clark says, Mitchell tried responding. He said, can I speak? Then in that same position, Mr. Hapgood came, looked down at him and said, you don't have a thing to say. Clark says he and his security manager tried to intervene, but Hapgood refused to budge for roughly 30 minutes. He stated that... He will not move, he will not get up, he will not do anything until pro police is present. Clark also says Hapgood's wife came in the room after he did and recorded part of the encounter on her phone. An autopsy shows Mitchell died from positional asphyxia. A toxology report also shows he had drugs and alcohol in his system. Hapgood's family says Scott was bitten and stabbed, but Clark says the knife Mitchell was allegedly carrying was clean. Hapgood, who was vacationing in Anguilla with his family back in April, says he is eager for a trial where his innocence will be proven. And someday I will be able to tell the real story in a legal setting. The sooner that day comes, the better. Thank you. Now, a representative for the Hapgoods say they categorically deny most of the allegations, except for the detail about the delay in Hapgood releasing Mitchell. Hapgood says he didn't trust the hotel staff that was coming into his room and thought they were part of some type of plan to attack him. All of this will be key when the next phase of this case begins, September 9th. Errol Barnett, CBS News on the Caribbean island of Anguilla.